Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. Today we are working on a 24 inch by 12 inch deep edge canvas. Um, I have the backs taped, propped up on cups. Let's just jump in. So I'm going to flood this canvas with some titanium white by Amsterdam. And there's flood, um, flood flow troll in here, uh, the American one. If you guys want to see how I mix my paints and pigments, please check the video link in the description box underneath this video. Okay, I'm just going to blow some of this out. I know I'm going to need more, so I have a little bit there. titanium white paints. I'm going to start with some ball gown. This is an inter interference gold by this little piggy. And again guys if you want to see how I mix all this up just check out the description box and there will be a video how I mix my paints there. Okay and now we're going to go for some Galaxy, which is feeling a little bit thick, so I'm just going to thin it down with some water. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and you're liking my videos, please subscribe. Um, just hit the button underneath this video. It's free, and you, you'll be notified um, when I upload new fluid art videos if you hit the bell next to the subscription button. So this is a Galaxy and Graphite. Galaxy by This Little Piggy Pigment and Graphite by Amsterdam um, with the Floetrol as well. Okay, and then we're going to go for some homemade brown black, which is Amsterdam uh, Van Dyke Brown and Amsterdam Oxide Black. So it probably looks black, but there's definitely a brown tone to it. So we will just drop that in here. Oh, I'm getting paint all over me. It's okay. And finally, let's go for some just oxide. Oh no, this is um, oxide black. And I added a little, a few drops of the golden carbon black fluid acrylics. So it's black, but there's oxide and carbon in there. I'm just going to kind of go in, oh, just a little bit. Let's maybe drizzle some more of that interference gold. I get my hair dryer and blow this out. So I'm using a Baby Bliss travel hair dryer on the low setting. There's only two settings, a low and a high warm heat, and I'm using it on low. Okay, the brown, um, you probably can't see, but just wait until I bring you in for a close-up. This right here, it has the interference gold in it, which is awesome, um, even on a white background. I keep telling people that you don't only have to do interference on top of a dark background. You get really cool results when it's on a lighter background as well. Um, 
the brown homemade brown black that I made is again you're probably seeing just black I don't know I can't see what you guys are actually seeing um, but it is it goes so well with this so let me just have a look I'm excited because I'm liking it I like the scatteredness of it um, I like how that's you know this is over and that's over I'm getting a lot of the white cells coming up but there is interference gold in them which is awesome I'm not gonna touch it I even like this like this interference gold that's in here then this like squiggle line I like it so much to look at I'm gonna scrape off the drips and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up I'm gonna give it about 10-15 minutes because this is gonna develop and kind of expand out and the you know the white cells are gonna grow and whatnot the lacing so it will move a little it'll shift and get a little bit bigger but maybe I can see it as I'm talking it's getting um, changing so yeah I'm super excited okay I will bring you guys in for a close-up I'll be right back all right guys so here we are um... I've scraped my drips and made sure all my sides are, my edges are covered. Um, I will start with the flash off and then we'll go flash on. So just a quick fly over and we've got some cool cells. That's cool. My little squiggle, I don't mind it. And you can see some of that inter interference gold in there. You can actually see that brown black now. Right, I hope you guys like this one. I love it. I love all the little imperfections like that. Love it. And that there I even love. Love the cool cells. Okay. Be right back with the flash on. Okay, so here's the flash on. You can really see that interference gold and the, the brown black as well. So there's definitely loads of sparkly goodness. Um, I'm going to bring you up to my squiggle line and you can see the interference gold there. Oh, look at that. Here's my little squiggle. <laughs> there's the interference gold on the white. And that's neat. Look at all that gold can see when I so it looks white but then when the light hits it it turns gold so like there it looks like there's no gold and then when you get that light on it it goes gold awesome so fun I can't reach over there <laughs> all right guys so there you have it um, let me know what you think in the comments below Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, here's the dried results. There's no varnish or anything on this, but it did dry just as I left it. There's my little squiggle. So nothing shifted or no cracking. And when this gets varnished, it is going to be stunning. I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye.